when you think you're not good enough, just keep thinking that you can because anything is really, truly possible. Anything is really, truly possible. Let me emphasize that. Anything is possible. Is it, Anything is possible. Anything. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Magical Frey. I hope you're having a magical day getting to do what you want to do because you can and you're alive. Yes, yeah, so in this week's video, I'm going to be discussing three tips on how to be creative when it's hard. So number one is crush your resistance. By resistance, I mean distractions. Every time you find yourself doing something while you know you should be doing something, that's a distraction. That's causing you to have resistance to complete the task that you wanted to do. I find myself scrolling through Netflix. So I stop, I put the remote down, and then I find myself going to the studio and to paint instead of binge watching. Cause I know how I get when I'm into a show, I watch the whole thing. If there's two seasons, I'm gonna be up all night watching the season, binge watching because I already know who I am. <laughs> when I find myself scrolling through social media for hours and hours, and especially when I find motivation and inspiration and the next you know, it's just endless scrolling. I put my phone down, live in the present, and I become aware of the position that I'm in and what I could do during that time instead of endlessly scrolling on social media. Social media is one of the big distractions and actually one of the most resistant things that people find themselves comparing themselves to where they think that oh i can't do this i'm not designed for this or i'm not good enough i could never be like that that's you instilling the thoughts inside your head making you think that way and that's causing that resistance i like to think of it like this just remember that all those people that motivate you that inspire you they had to start somewhere they were crappy in the beginning they couldn't post all the time they couldn't provide entertainment all the time like they had to start somewhere in order to become the person that they really wanted to be past that resistance so yeah just crush your resistance by becoming aware of yourself. Point is, when you find yourself doing something else that you know that you should be doing, that's when you need to crush your resistance. That's going to hold you back. And you don't want to be held back. You want to grow and evolve with the things that you're passionate about. You feel me? Number two is build creative habits. For instance, you know what they say, it takes 21 days or 30 days to really truly build a habit. That's why it's so popular amongst people who start working out. Like if they can work out for a month, they can continue that. They're creating a really good habit for themselves creatively further by. Another really good creative habit that I find most useful is like reading a book or reading on your Kindle before bed, feeding your brain with good knowledge. Actually, one of my favorite creative habits to do is dancing to my favorite music. Every time I'm dancing to my favorite music, I think about wearing an outfit with my art and dancing with it and vibing with just like my creations as I'm creating dance moves. Like, I think that's just so amazing. And I try to dance every single day before I work out, after I work out. I try to dance like stand near six days a week. I don't, I don't even realize I'm doing it, but I'm having fun doing it and I'm building that habit. Once I started YouTube, I told myself I needed to have a content schedule when I film, when I edit, and I needed to write that down on a planner, put it on the window, put it somewhere where I can find it so I can stick to that schedule. And it helps my mind want to think about the content that I can create and think about how I can just be myself while I'm filming and you create a structure for yourself and you're creating um, habits for yourself, you know that you're on a good path by constantly keeping your mind working, being innovative. Do anything that helps you build a healthy habit creatively. Yeah. Number three is be unstoppably creative. And what I mean by being unstoppably creative, I mean keep going. Keep going. Keep doing the thing that motivates you. Keep doing the thing that inspires you. There was a time during this year, 2021, where I took two and a half months off of social media because I was so sad. 
I was just so sad. I was out of line with my energy and I couldn't even create. I couldn't even create at that time because I really questioned my existence. And during that time, I had a dream. I had multiple dreams as normal. And then I had these images pop in my head where it's just like, you need to get this out. And I did for one of the images. I get this interesting tingly sensation in the on the tip of my fingers and I want to grab the paintbrush I want to grab a pencil or something and I want to like move my hand I want to create and do something I want it needs to flow so I had that sensation when I was sad and when I painted this it just made sense at the time I painted I'm gonna show you anyway I'll just show you painted a heart that was colorful and it was falling down into different colors of the spec of the chakra spectrum and then getting engulfed into this space goo never to be seen again and the fact that i was so sad i painted that and it came out really nice that's a little something that i just didn't think i was going to share but it's a little personal you know what and i wanted to be you know transparent and really tell you that anything that you can create even when you're down in the dumps. I didn't know by just posting my video of art that I didn't think I'd be here a year later, really taking social media seriously, creating content, painting, doing things that creatively make me happy and I'm enjoying doing that. Never know what could happen when you keep going. You get better, you get faster, you get smart about your technique. You end up develop a pace for yourself and you reach your full potential of becoming who you really are on Mother Earth. Believe in your magical self. You didn't come this far to just come this far. Like for myself, I didn't think I'd be wearing wearable art that I designed and created. It's so amazing to know that I kept going in the last year. Even when it was the lockdown, I still kept creating. I still wanted my art on wearable items products and it's amazing i never thought i'd be here today and i'm wearing one of my one of my shirts and it says magical being and i'm just like it's cute i love it and i'm vibing with my art i never thought just because i didn't quit i kept going you know what i mean these are three tips on how to be creative when it's hard and i really hope you like this video i hope it gave you inspiration motivation something to take action today even make magic you already know you already know i'm all about the magic yeah 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 but seriously i really hope you like this video i hope it impacted you where really push yourself really challenge yourself when you're feeling down when it's hard when you think that you can't do it when you think you're not good enough just keep thinking that you can because anything is really truly possible Anything is really truly possible. Let me emphasize that. Anything is possible is it anything is possible. Anything. Anything. Anything you can think of, anything that you can imagine, your thoughts become your reality. So please like, comment, subscribe, show your girls some magical love, and comment down below what you do to be creative when you're down. I'd like to know. And if anything, please comment me on my Instagram. Let's have a real conversation. I really wanna know what motivates you to create. I hope you have a magical day being your magical self and I'll see you next time. Bye. It's your girl. So in, so, 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 so. In, 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 in a sense, I, for, I, I can't even talk. with my hair i can't i can't gonna be holding the phone having the lighting here can you see having the lighting here instead of using the tripod <laughs> this is this is what i have to do this is what i have to do until my audio equipment comes in and my better tripod i'm i'm getting my stuff down i'm not i'm gonna keep going guys like this you can now get to see my store it's available now in two different colors yeah i just gotta plug myself in there magical foray shop my etsy shop check out my etsy shop check it out <laughs> it's a crop top it's so cute. Yes, girls, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just love it. I'm just like, when you love something, you're all about it. I'm all about it. If you ain't gonna be obsessed with yourself, then who is?